Hi, this is Jim Toll with Fache Opto Electronics coming to you from our San Jose recording studio. And today we're going to spend just a few minutes talking about IR receivers for presence sensing and a new series of receivers that we're about to introduce. But before we do that, I wanted to spend just a minute looking at the complete portfolio of Opto Electronics products that we offer. You can find them at vache.com slash optoelectronics. We have infrared receivers. We're the world's leading supplier of IR receivers for remote control. Optical sensors with both analog and digital output. Discrete infrared emitters and photo detectors, which includes phototransistors and pin photodiodes. Optocouplers, solid state relays, visible and UV LEDs, and finally, ERTA transceivers. The IR receivers for remote control start with the prefix TSOP. The receivers for presence sensing start with the prefix TSSP. The standard receivers have uh, automatic gain control or adjustable gain, while the IR receivers for sensing have a fixed gain. They're used in applications from paper towel and soap dispensing, automatic flushed toilets and urinals, vending machines to make sure the product is actually dispensed, robot floor maintenance equipment, lots and lots of toys, and then long range interrupter applications like a garage door safety switch, or when you walk down that grocery store aisle and the lighting turns on within the freezers. So today we're gonna to focus on the new TSSP9 series of presence sensing IR receivers. It's offered in a broad portfolio of packages and it features our homegrown IC called Silene. Uh, in the past, we designed the ICs, but now we're not only designing them, we're actually manufacturing them. It supports 38 kilohertz and 56 kilohertz carrier frequencies. And in a reflective mode, it has a range of up to two meters. And in a transmissive or interrupter mode, it can reach 30 meters. There are a number of features which make the TSSP9 series stand out amongst our present sensing IR receivers. One is how quickly the output becomes stable when the receiver receives an infrared signal. The curve shows that the TSSP9 series goes from high to low and the output becomes stable more quickly than the TSSP4038. A second feature is how it performs under high DC illumination. So for example, if you're in your living room watching your TV and the blinds are open, the sun is streaming into your living room. That can be a very, very bright environment for an IR receiver to work. The TSSP9 series can receive an IR signal from your remote control unit at higher levels of brightness, if you will, of, or irradiance from outside sources than the TSSP4038. The output pulse width of an IR receiver has to match the input burst length coming from the remote control unit. Some remote control codes require a great deal of accuracy from input to output. In these graphs, we show that the input signal is in red, and you can see that the TSSP94038 has the best closest performance to the input pulse width compared to the TSSP4038 over all levels of irradiance. Most IR receivers do not operate at temperature extremes, but it's comforting to know that the TSSP9 series has a constant detection threshold over a broad temperature range. Given its performance, the TSSP9 series should be a serious consideration for your next present sensing application. Thanks for taking a few minutes to learn more about the TSSP9 series IR receiver for present sensing. If you're looking for data sheets or application notes, you'll find it at vishay.com slash optoelectronics. And thanks again.